everyone! So for today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I filled out my application for travel document or the form I-131 or the advance parole. So this edition expires on October 31, 2024. So this is just based on how I filled out mine. And just to give you a quick background about me, I got here in the US on a K-1 visa and we are now married. And now I am applying for this travel document together with my employment authorization and also my adjustment of status. So let's start. Type or print in black so part one information about you so 1a family name is clark uh, 1b given name lois and then middle name is lane so this is just for example guys and what i put here is my married name already so for the physical address the 2a in care of name so you can include your name here in my case i just leave it blank and then the 2B is street name and name. You just put it there. And then city or town, Rancho Cordova, state, uh, California, zip code 1234. And then don't forget, guys, the country, which is USA. And then other information, alien registration number or the A number. This, guys, is, in, uh, is located on your NOAA 2 or the notice of approval, it is on top of your beneficiary's name. So just put your A number there. And then country of birth, Philippines. Country of citizenship is Philippines. Class of admission is K1. And then gender, female. Date of birth. So you just have to put your uh, birth date here. And then your U.S. Social Security number, if any. So in my case, I already have my Social Security number. So I included my SSN here. And then for the next one, application type. So for part two is the application type. So I selected that I am applying for an advanced parole document to allow me to return to the United States after temporary foreign travel. These are the other ones, the other options that you have. I am outside the United States and I am applying for an advanced parole document. I am applying for advanced parole for a person who is outside the United States. So if you check box 1F, provide the following information about that person in 2A through 2P. So in my case, so this is for me, so I just put not applicable here or na on this boxes up to this uh the country of birth na as well and then this physical address just put na on this boxes as well since this is not applicable to us so country is not applicable so for the next one, processing information, date of intended departure. So this is, guys, for just your assumption. So when is your intended departure? In my case, I put uh, December 18, 2023. And then expected length of trip in days. So I just put 10 days here or just the number 10. And then 3A, are you or any person included in this application now in exclusion, deportation, removal, or rescission proceedings? So I selected no here since it's not uh, applicable to me. If yes, name of D DHS office. So just put not applicable here. And then for the next uh, 
one country of bird just put na here since it's not applicable for me and then this one's as well the country of citizenship and then physical address if you check box 1f so i didn't check the 1f so just put na here and then have you ever been issued a re-entry permit or refugee travel document if yes give the following information for the last document issued to you so in my case this is my first time so i selected no here and then date issued is na and then for this position is na as well so if you are applying for a non-DACA related travel parole document, skip to part 7. DACA recipients must complete part 4 before skipping to part 7. So, let's do this guy. So, for part 3, processing information continued. Where do you want? this travel document sent check one so i selected this five uh to the u.s address shown in part one through 2a through part i of this form so this is your address guys so for six number six to a u.s embassy or consulate at so if you are going to send this to u.s embassy or consulate oh you you have to put something here but in my case i just have to uh have it sent to u.s address shown in part one so i put na here and then for this one as well you just have to put na just put na here and a here as well for the zip code and then country is and a as well so information about your proposed travel so for 1a purpose of trip if you need more space continued continue on a separate sheet of paper so what i did here is I just put to visit my family in the Philippines and my husband's family in Panama for holidays. So that's what I just put there. And then for 1B, list the countries you intend to visit. If you need more space, continue on a separate sheet of paper. So I included the Philippines here and the Panama. So for part 5, complete only if applying for a re-entry permit since becoming a permanent resident of the united states or during the five years whichever is let is less how much total time have you spent outside the united states so this is not applicable to me since i am not a permanent resident of united states when i fill this out and then since you became a permanent resident of the United States. Have you ever filed a federal income tax return as a non-resident or failed to file a federal income tax return because you considered yourself to be a non-resident? If yes, give details on a separate sheet of paper. So this is not uh, applicable to me, guys. So I just skip that part. And then... Complete only if applying for a refugee travel document. So, I just put NA here, country from which you are a refugee or asylee. So, just if you answer yes to any of the following questions, you must explain on a separate sheet of paper. Include your name and A number on the top of, sheet, of each sheet. So... For this one, guys, I just leave this blank since this is not for me. Since I am not applying, I am not applying for a refugee travel document, so I just skip that part. And then complete only if applying for advanced parole. So so on a separate sheet of paper, explain how you qualify for an. 
advance parole document and what circumstances warrant the issuance of advance parole include copies of any documents you wish considered so how many trips do you intend to use this document so i just selected one more more than one trip and then if the person intended to receive an app Advanced parole document is outside the United States. Provide the location, city, town, and country of the U.S. Embassy or Consulate or the DHS Overseas Office that you want to notify. So just put NA here since this is not applicable to me. So, if the travel document will be delivered to an overseas office, where should the notice to pick up the document to be sent? So, this is not applicable to me. So, just put any here, guys. And then, street name. Just put any on these boxes. For this as well. Put any country is any. So just put any there guys. And then for the next one is don't forget to uh, sign your form. So sign here. And then date of signature just put the date guys. Don't forget. So let's just put the date. And then your day, day time phone number or your cell phone number. Just put it there. And then for this one, information about person who prefer this application if other than the applicant. So in my case, I don't have preparers. So just put NA here. Just put NA there. And then, yeah, just put NA here as well. And then for the next one is prepare signature, not applicable, and then not applicable. So that's it, guys. Just put any on these boxes. Since it's not applicable to us. Country and that's it guys thank you so much for watching bye bye